How are you, Trevor? Good, how are you? Trevor, uh, he's the, the product planner for the new uh, 2016 Hyundai Tucson, right? Yes, it is. That's correct. Well, let's go and take a little ride in it. Uh, first thing, obviously, keyless. This is standard now in every model? Uh, on some of our models, yes. Okay. So this is what, the third generation of the of the Tucson? Yes, this is our third generation uh, Hyundai Tucson. We're really proud to uh, present it. We're looking forward to uh, sales starting here in the next couple of weeks. What is standard now, I think, is the, the rear view camera, right? Rear view camera is absolutely standard. And what you just heard that beeping was the rear cross traffic alert, as you saw the uh, folks walking behind the vehicle it will alert you to that so third generation everything is new in this car we have a completely redesigned Tucson this Tucson is the, now based on the uh, the new Sonata platform okay. previously the last a very successful car it's been a very successful car and it's been very well regarded for excellent ride quality and uh, noise dampening characteristics so that you bring that into the segment that is like the fast, fastest growing segment in the industry, right? Absolutely. You know, this segment has been growing up, uh, blowing up actually quite a bit, uh, especially here uh, now that gas prices are quite a bit lower than they were just even a year or two ago. So, um, as we say, like new from the platter from up, uh, the design is new. What, can you talk a little bit about the, what has changed in the exterior? Yes, absolutely. You know, like I said, the, uh, the vehicle is now based off of the uh, Sonata platform. Uh, a lot of our competitors, they'll take a C-segment sedan, for example, and they'll modify that and make it into their subcompact CUV. Yeah. So what we've done here at Tucson, we've taken instead a Sonata, which is already very rigid, and shrunken that slightly to make the platform for uh, the new Tucson. But like you said, you know, we have a lot of sheet metal changes as well. Uh, the vehicle has grown quite a bit, about three inches in length and just over an inch in width uh, to gain that, uh, that great feeling of uh, size. Um, our cargo capacity has increased quite a bit as well, about five cubic feet, a little over five cubic feet um, from the previous vehicle, which is again, as I mentioned earlier, a lot larger than some of the larger crossovers that you might see in our roads, such as a BMW X5. Also a lot of work in the engineering for like noise reduction. I mean, we're like driving here in this road that isn't that great to be honest with you. A little bumps here and there. But the, the cabin is like so quiet. Absolutely. You know, we've actually spent a lot of time on uh, developing the vehicle so to have additional sound insulation. Uh, if you had a chance earlier to see uh, the model that we had, the static display at the, uh, at the presentation room, some of the insulation that we have in the vehicle is several inches thick. Yeah, and especially you, you put some on the on the front wheels, over the, the front wheels, that isolates a lot of the road noise, right? Absolutely, we have isolation uh, elements there, as well as the floor pan, um, also in uh, throughout the doors as well. So that combined with our additional uh, application of advanced high strength steel and uh, use of uh, structural adhesives in the vehicle have all combined to make for a much quieter vehicle. So before we start talking about the interior, which is pretty amazing, uh, let's talk about the engines. There's two options for this car? We've got two different engines for Tucson. The first one's going to be our base engine, which is a two-liter, yeah. uh, four-cylinder engine that puts out about 164 horsepower. That's made it to our six-speed automatic transmission, which is working out very well for us. What we've also done as the optional engine, we've replaced the 2.4-liter engine that we had in the previous Tucson, yeah. and we now have the 1.6-liter turbo engine. Now, this engine, uh, not only does it provide good amount of power at 175 horsepower, but the big story there is the 195 pound-feet of torque you can find just off idle at about 1,500 RPM. And it stays flat throughout 4,500 RPM, which is the meat of where most CUV yeah. drivers will use. And great efficiency with uh, with uh, with these engines, right? Absolutely. You know, our uh, our 1.6 turbo. It is a gasoline direct injection turbo engine, and an eco trim. It features up to additional five miles per gallon more than the outgoing 2.4 liter engine that we've had. Great. So let's talk about the interior. I mean, um, the, the the design is like so so elegant, and like you see a lot of really high quality materials all over the place. Absolutely. There are different uh, materials that we use throughout the cabin. Um, up here in the dash, for example, we do have a premium instrument panel here. The leather in the steering wheel that you're feeling, that you're driving right now, it is a very high grade leather that we're using, especially compared to our competitors. We here at Hyundai, we realize, of course, that's the first touch point that uh, a lot of consumers have on a test drive, and we want that experience for them to be having a good 
then the seats uh, also in this uh, uh, we're driving the, the top of the line right so this is leather this is a yeah we have uh, leather seats in the uh, limited trims this is a limited with the ultimate package so it does have um, leather in it additionally you may have also noticed already on your drive up here is a ventilator front seats and we also have heated seats in the rear of this vehicle as well and tons of technology I mean from the GPS plane like keeping assist technology so a lot of, of, of technology that you expect to see in like a much higher price cars we have and, and there a lot of technology that we've actually debuted in Genesis we brought down to this level you've mentioned a couple already like departure warning is one of them but one of the greatest new features of, that I like to talk about of course is the new um, pedestrian detection uh, system that's combined with their automatic emergency braking the vehicle detects a pedestrian stepping out on the road maybe they're texting just not paying attention maybe what have you <laughs> the vehicle will come to a stop it's yeah. a very very easy to use system so another cool thing in this trim is like this. I mean, this is huge, this thing. Absolutely. You know, this, this roof goes really far back. And yeah. not only All is it far way, back, like it's also very the second wide row. as well. A lot of our competitors will stop it above, about basically where the center line of the yeah. passenger's head is. This is a quite a bit further out outboard. Um, and yes, you actually notice as well, in the second row, you can recline the seats all the way back and still see Lots of glass, you're not looking at any headliner at all. So you mentioned it was three inches longer than the previous generation and Correct. most of that space went into where? Like the seats or the cargo space or what? Most of that space went into the cargo area. That's that's where you get the additional five foot three cubic uh, feet of space. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so what about uh, trims? How many different trims are there and what at the pricing? So we uh, we have our base trim that starts at uh, $22,700. Um, the next trim up from that is our Eco Trim. And our Eco Trim is where we feature our 1.6 turbo engine that I mentioned. Yeah. And it's a great place because, you know, that's the trim where you get the additional fuel economy. It's the affordable turbo model. So you get the performance of the turbo, you get the fuel economy as well. Best of both worlds. From there you step up to the Sport Trim where you see elements such as the 19-inch alloy wheels, blind spot detection, things of that nature. And then one step above that is our Limited Trim, uh, which, which is, is this. For, which is this. Um, the limited trim features leather navigation that you see here and then the ultimate package built on top of the limited trim. So what are the price range? Um, base vehicle at 22.7. Uh, the limited trim starts at uh, 29.9. So as we were talking, this segment has exploded. I mean, everybody, I mean, the, the actual growth of the auto industry is in this segment. Right? So what are the competitors, the main competitors for this one, for the new Tucson? When we were developing the new Tucson, we primarily looked at the three big players, right? So Escape, CRV, and RAV4 represent the huge chunk of this segment. We have also uh, noted Nissan Rogue as well. Yeah. We noted uh, Tiguan for the dynamic qualities that it's had. Um, those are the, the main competitors that we look to take a look at. Also CX-5, recent uh, entrant into the field. Uh, that has a, also a pretty good design. So when you talk about uh, about 35,000, the most you can spend in this car, I mean, you get a lot of cars. I mean, like the typical Hyundai value proposition, right? I mean, like there's yeah. like any other vehicle that can pretty much give you all of this for that value and like warranty, the warranty, 10-year guarantee and all those kind of things. Right, so we're always talking about value for Hyundai. You know, people come to Hyundai, they expect a value story, and we're delivering that to them. We're you know, having features such as this big glass roof, this big panoramic roof that you mentioned, the heater rear seats, the automatic emergency braking, blind spot detection, lane departure warning, uh, navigation screen with uh, an eight inch display that can, uh, you can swipe, and pinch and zoom, just as you would with a, a smartphone these days, yeah. for example. Pretty amazing. Well, we're gonna end up here at the stop uh, for the halfway of this uh, long drive uh, that we have for today. So, thank you very much for the information. Great, and another big success for uh, Hyundai. Eh? I mean, like, thank you. You don't stop. I mean, you just <laughs> launched that. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> you, you, you just launched the Sonata Hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and like now this. Uh, so, always working, huh? Eh? Stay tuned for more. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. What?